Huh? What are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Ogreboy and I'm going to be doing my review for the 2015 movie Creed. So, uh, in this movie we follow Adonis Johnson, who is the son of Apollo Creed, but he didn't know that his father was Apollo Creed until he... Uh, the beginning of this movie when he's an adult he finds out and uh, he, he goes to Philadelphia and everything to find Rocky so he could see if he would come out of retirement to train him and uh, Rocky sees much of Apollo and Adonis and agrees to mentor him even as he battles an opponent deadlier than in the ring than any in the ring with Rocky's help Adonis soon gets a little or gets a title shot but whenever he has the true heart of a but whether he has the true heart of it fighter remains to be seen um this is a pretty good movie um I, I enjoyed Creed quite a bit it's definitely not quite as good as the Rocky movies to me and everything but it it, it's just partially it's taking time to adjust from going from following Rocky to following Adonis but I think Adonis is a really likable main character and uh, Michael B. Jordan does a really great job playing him which he's great in everything he's in so that's not really a surprise um, and S Stallone is just once again great as Rocky um, gives a really great performance and everything I think he actually even got an Oscar nomination for this movie and everything he's just once again great in here Tessa Thompson is uh, Bianca the love interest to Adonis is really good and their relationship is really well written and everything the, the, the beginning of their relationship and everything and I enjoyed this movie quite a bit I enjoyed a lot of the stuff with Rocky and Adonis together um, they, they were really really good together Michael B. Jordan and Sylvester Stallone had great chemistry and they, they kind of carry the movie but the, the, this is a pretty good movie and I will say Ryan Coogler's directing is really good um, I don't know that this is my number one favorite movie of his that he's directed in fact I'd probably say it's not even my top two because I, I love Black Panther and uh, Fruitville Station a little bit more I think both of them are a little bit better movies than this one but this is a really good movie um, and everything in I remember when it first came out, I, th I wanted to see it and thought that it looked good. And I think I could have ended up seeing it without seeing the previous Rocky movies and everything. But I don't think I would have enjoyed it near as much as I did having the experience of watching those movies. Um, but it, it's pretty good. And uh, the, the story is pretty well written. It's written by Ryan Coogler. He did a great job writing the story to this, too. And everything they did a good job uh, keeping this uh, this franchise afloat, if you will. Um, the score in here is done by Ludwig Orenson. I hope I pronounced his name right. He's also the one who did the score for Black Panther, and his score in this one is pretty good. I personally like Black Panther's score a little bit more, but this one is still really good. Um, everything I think he did a good job with it and uh, this is just a, a pretty good movie like I said there, there's not much else I can say about it I, I enjoyed it and everything I like the ending of it where even though Apollo didn't win everybody knew who he was and, uh, and everything and like even though he didn't win he stole the show that night and it, it put it his name out there for people to become fans of him and stuff and I thought that was pretty cool so even though he technically didn't win the fight he won the crowd over and gained a fan base and stuff I thought that was pretty pretty cool so he in his own terms had his own happy ending kind of like Rocky did with Adrian at the beginning of or at the end of Rocky 1 so I thought the parallels between that was pretty cool too and uh, yeah it's just a really really entertaining movie so I give Rocky a B plus it's, it's a pretty good movie it's uh, I don't know if I'd say it's one of my most favorites in the franchise but it definitely is a pretty decent one I, I'd say I at least like it better than Rocky 5 for sure um, 
and everything. And I, I really did like that movie too. Like I said, all the Rocky movies were great, and I, this is a great addition to the, the series and everything. I don't think it's quite on the same level as most of the Rocky movies, but it's still a really good entry, and I, I wasn't really disappointed with it. I, I thought it was about as good as I expected it to be. So anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of Creed, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a good day, everybody.